here I am at Sandown Station, just waiting for the old tube train to turn up. Now on the Isle of Wight we've got a train service which uses old London tube trains from the 1930s and the 1940s and they're quite interesting so I thought rather than you know get in the car and drive around I thought I'd uh, walk around to the train station which is where I am now, jump on a train and go to ride. I'm going to use the rest of the exposures on this film inside the train and then when I get to ride go to the photo shop, get a new roll of film and also have a look, look around a couple of antique shops where they sell old cameras and stuff so uh, that would be interesting and then I'll just walk around ride first off the rest of the film and see what we can come up with mainly just to see try this camera out and see how it works so I'm not sure if this camera leaks any light like I said in the last video um, but I've got a trick up my sleeve I've got some film here that uh, I've got about 15 shots left on it so I'm going to load this film into this camera and this will be my start off film I'm going to take a couple of uh, frames in the bright daylight and then once I've taken the frames pretend the film's in there I'm then going to use black tape around the seals and continue shooting so when I get back and develop if those first couple of frames have got light leaks, I know I need to replace the seals. If not, happy days, but um, at least the tape's going to save my shoot today. Finally made it to ride after a bumpy ride. Um, over here is Portsmouth, as you see. So uh, I took a couple of shots on the, on the uh, train. So now I need to get a new roll of film. So let's go to the Photoshop, get a roll of film, and have a mooch about. This is Deb. She owns a yam bag Hi. shopping ride. Come and see me. Come and see him ride. Got That's lots up. of lovely bags, lots of new ones, lots of bags in bags. <laughs> bags in bags. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Oh, see you later, Deb. Bye, darling. Yeah. Take care. So, so far, I've, uh, I've quite enjoyed using this camera, you know. It's, it's, it's a bit difficult because I'm running around with a video camera and a tripod as well. Um, so, I haven't had to see my hands all the time and shooting, but I'm going to do just that now. I've just took a shot of uh, a train and. <laughs> I haven't seen much else yet, but there's some geezer up there feeding swans and pigeons, so I'm just going to go and see if I can get a load of swan crap on my feet and get some photographs of that. focus finder from and uh, I also once found some really old negatives that I got from this shop as well so it's quite interesting and in this cabinet here it's loads and loads and loads of old film stuff so uh, I'm just going to throw the video camera in there for you to see some quite interesting stuff some old glass plates and whatnot so you've got all these old glass plates here and old Ilford stuff and man I don't even know what half this stuff is to be honest with you some self toning papers let's um, get a couple of bits out I'll try X film now. Struggling the day because I don't get my glasses on. Right. Oh my god. I still got a roll what's that one? Kodak high speed infrared film, that one. This old film's another one here. What's that one? A plus X. Fine grain and chromatic safety film. Wow. And up here we've got this Philips and Magic Cube flash things there and Griffin's self-toning paper. Oh this old paper. <laughs> I don't think any of it works, but look at this that glass plates. FP4 fine grain speed on the back. I like little glass plates in there. Photo tinter solution, that's tintin photo for tinting photographs. Shall I buy that and see what we can do with it? It doesn't even work. Look at that bottle. That's just crazy. This is a it's like a, a mini mobile dark room and you put your prints in there. You 
cover it up, there's little light bulbs inside, you close it and expose for how many seconds. That's crazy, I've never seen anything like it. There's a, comes with the box as well. A little red safe light for your dark room there. Maybe someone can tell me what this is or if you're interested, I'll let you know where this is. You can make a purchase on it. Overall that was quite a fun little journey. I didn't take the car, I took the train and I've never taken that train before and I've lived here many years. And like I said, they're old tube trains, really rickety, really rocky. That's why you saw the camera doing all this when I was on the train. And uh, you know, it just reminded me when I used to work in London on the trains, everyone's like this on the seats. So yeah, we got to ride and got to see a few people and take some photographs. I really enjoyed using this camera. It, it's a beast. It is so heavy, but it's, it just feels right in your hands. It feels really good. And, I've, and you know, I've got other cameras as well, but I'm going to enjoy using this in the future. I'll just show you a couple of prints that I did. So the shots that I showed you in the video were from my camera phone, just snapping away uh, on a light box. But these are some of the prints that I did. These are 16 by 12 paper and slightly uh, cropped in inside. That's one of the prints there. Quite happy with that one. This is an old lamp that was at the train station which was the pier itself, quite another print. I mean, going this large with uh, 35 mil, it does start breaking up a little bit, was what I've noticed. Maybe it's the rod and that I've used. And this one here as well, that I liked uh, of the train when I was standing on a bridge. I actually waited 20 minutes for this train to come along. And uh, I think I'll have to reprint this one because I did a little bit of crazy burning on the top. Um, you know, this was quite kind of blown out, but um, I'll have to work on that one maybe. But I don't mind, you know, that stuff doesn't really bother me too much. But uh, yeah, another print there. I'm really grateful to the guy that gave it to me. I'm certainly going to use it. It's, it just feels good in your hands. And you know, unfortunately the light stuff, the light meters don't work, but I can get around that, you know, and in time if I want to fix it, I can get it fixed. I'm sure someone out there knows how to do it. In fact, I've already had a few comments ab ab about that. Um, but yeah, fantastic camera. The lens, it just, looking back at the negatives, it, you know, some of the images I've got are really, really sharp, which is nice to see. Um, and, and I can't fault it, as I say, other than the electrics, but it is an old camera. I'm pleased to say there was no light leaks. So uh, when, I, when I developed the first roll of film, the first couple of frames, there was no light leaks whatsoever. So phew, the tape's off now. I know this camera's gonna be good to go for, for quite some time. So yeah, if you've got any comments to make about this video, please leave them in the section below and uh, wherever that is, I don't know if it's that side or that side, but it's down there somewhere. Um, and in particular, if you own one of these cameras, let us know your feedback on, on the Canon EF because uh, I think it's great and I'm looking forward to getting out and shooting more with it. Anyway, guys, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.